Hey everybody, it's Joel. Um, wanted to go over some other uh, Chevys in my collection. These are all Matchbox. Okay, um, I think I got some pretty cool stuff in here. Um, first up, um, let me go over uh, the trucks that I have in this. Um, Matchbox does a halfway decent tow truck. Um, now, some of these say GMC Wreckers, but basically same thing as a Chevy. So whether it's a GMC or a Chevy, okay, pretty much the same thing. Um, hook moves, um, not a lot of play in the boom, but the hook moves, okay. Uh, metal body, plastic base, and this back, this is all plastic, okay. Uh, this one here is also a GMC Wrecker. Same thing. Plastic body. I'm sorry, plastic base. And the back is all plastic. Boom moves. Light bars made out of the uh, material for the windows, which are yellow. Another GMC Wrecker. And I think it's only known as a GMC record, so I really don't know what year this will be based on. My guess is would probably be the uh, uh, the 80s. Okay. And uh, so far, uh, let's see here. Just have six of these. Park Hill Towing. Do you want to notice the Park Hill Towing? Yeah. Alright, so I have two of these. Okay, it's a duplicate. Didn't realize it. And they are the same color. Except one has a little bit more yellow in the tampo than the other one. So it looks like to me. The right side has more yellow in the tampo. The other one kind of looks like palish. And I'll say it's reverse it and change the light. Nope. Now the left side has more. So, yeah. That would be the only variation I see. Anybody knows more about these, you know, let me know. <coughs> Wrecker, okay. Uh, this one got a little messy, and the boom is a little bit crooked, okay. So, anyway, um, there we go. And New York City Police Department, this is pretty cool. I like this, I think I just got this recently. Um, and if you notice the casting change, the hook doesn't move at all. The others, all the hook moves. Um, this, I think, came out of a recent five-pack with some other um, cars for the uh, New York City Police Department because they were different brands. I put them in a different jammer's case. But that's a casting change right there. The hook doesn't move. <coughs> um, here is a generic Hot Wheels police car. This is based on... Um, a 2000 Chevrolet Impala. Uh, so I guess this would be the only uh, Matchbox Impala I have. Okay. And again, it's a 2000 Chevrolet Impala. Um, and a copyright date on here is 1998. So probably came out in late 99 or something like that where they knew what the uh, 2000 uh, body styles would look like. Um, this is also a Matchbox casting. This is the Hardy's Lumina Stalker. Okay. Um, I think the livery is pretty much what was raced way back when. Um, Luminas were raced in the late 80s or early to mid 90s, something like that. I can't remember when the Lumina came out. Anyway, um, not quite sure, but this might have been a happy meal. Um, for uh, kids at Hardee's. Not sure. Maybe someone else could let me know. 
keeping with trucks, okay, because the last two cars were just oddball Chevys I threw in the case. Um, these have a metal, no, no, I think it's a thin metal strip base, plastic body. Um, these are GMC shuttle buses. Can't quite see what it says on the bottom here. <laughs> Plastic body, so we got airport shuttle, GMC. Here's plastic based metal body. This is kind of nice. Um, this one here is a Chevrolet. So uh, there's a casting change you can see on the front. The GMC is more rounded nose, and um, the Chevy is more square. And also, there was a change to the length. So when I line up the cab, or the cap, okay, you can see that there is a slight difference in um, in length, just a hair, okay. Um, width looks to be about the same. Wheelbase is about the same, but it's a, just a hair shorter. But this one here is kind of nice, it's just a generic design, and that's a Chevy. Uh, Chevy Transport is what it's known as. Okay, got the name right here Chevy Transport. Here's another one. This would be a, also a Chevy Transport bus. Okay, so that's the full name, Transport bus. Metro, motel, shuttle, plastic body. I'm sorry, metal body, plastic base. This one's cool, because this would be based off the other one, the GMC, okay? So the school bus is Fort Summer United School District. I'm not familiar with it, so I don't know if that's an actual school district. Um, but Fort sounds fun to a kid. Summer sounds fun to a kid. Unified school district. I don't think that goes together with Fort and Summer. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> here's unique because this is a see-through body. Um, Star Home Tours. Um, the cab right here is metal. This is metal. And the rest is see-through. Where you can see the seats. Okay. And here we have another Chevy Transport bus for national car rental. So that's probably a licensed product there. Okay, that's it for that. Next up in this case, I had um, El Caminos and Chevelles. Sorry. Sorry about that. Hit the camera. So, this was a two pack. Came with the ZAMAC, which is uh, just a, an acronym for the ingredients that make up the die cast. Casting, which is uh, zinc, aluminum, magnesium, and chromium. Okay, that's Zamac. Okay, um, so here we have the 70 Chevelle El Camino. I don't know why I'm looking, I can usually tell from looking at the front. SS. Okay. So, ZMAC, finished version. ZMAC, finished version. Okay? That was a two pack. Here was a Coca Cola model. This is a metal base with texture. This one's got some weight, which is really nice. Okay? This one came out of a nine pack. This one is new, 
Um, this one I just got within the last few months. I bought a, uh, a nine pack just to get this model. It's one of those exclusive ones. Okay. I'm looking to see if there's any change to the casting change because I didn't look before. Um, the color's nice. I don't like the. I like it better when it had silver for, or chrome for the grill and the bumpers, instead of uh, the uh, uh, the plain, you know, um, color here. Okay. It's another Coca Cola. Um, this one's been used, so I bought this one used. Metal base, metal body. Uh, so it's a duplicate of this one. Okay, but either way, uh, it's still a nice car. <clears throat> I think I've had this one in my collection a while. I used to have it on display in my house. And again, these are all 70 El Caminos. Same thing with this one. And here's a piston change. Bed is metal. Some of these other new ones, the bed is plastic, and that metal piece right there is where the rivet gets pounded in. Okay, so there's a casting change, because this one's from 2000. There's the Matchbox 2000 symbol in the window. Uh, this was another one, um, special, I believe, silver. I think this was the uh, super fast. Special one. Both of these have metal beds. Okay. Here's an older one too because it has a metal bed. And here's another older one with a metal bed. Uh, these all used to be on display in my home. So, like I said, I took the display down and then the display got, uh, the case got damaged. I had to throw it out. And the last one, this is a special one. <laughs> Meaning, I don't think it was a regular edition. Um, and it's got the full metal bed. Next up is the 71 Chevelle convertible. Okay, this was a super fast version. Okay. So, shit. Hot Wheels does the 70 Chevelle SS. They both do a hard top and convertible. Uh, Matchbox does the 71 Chevelle convertible. Uh, I have not seen a 71 Chevelle um, hard top or coupe. Super fast wheels, but it's not from the super fast era. I think this was a regular edition. It's kind of nice because the interior has shows even you know the uh, green or the lines in the seat. Same thing. This is a nice color. I really like the wheels. I'm not a big fan of these wheels because they look like dubs. I just think on classic cars like this, cars without any sidewall look bad, but I like the casting. And this is the newest one. This just recently came out, and this highlights some of the changes to the casting. Okay, so for instance, the window is thicker. Okay, compared to this, the window is thicker. Um, so 
So no change to the size. I prefer if they would use the chrome because they used a, uh, a neutral color for the base in the bumpers and the grill. Alright, so that is a casting difference is the, uh, is the window, is thicker. And you can see in here, K24, K was 2017, so this was produced the 24th week of 2017. Anyway, uh, that's it for my Matchbox um, Chevy truck. Well, not all Chevy trucks, because I got another one coming up. Um, includes GMC and Chevy uh, tow trucks and uh, transport buses, El Caminos and Malibu Chevelles. Uh, please, I hope you like the page, uh, subscribe, and if you have any questions, drop a question below. Thank you. Have a good day.